Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I am here to do, um, I guess a little collage page. Page. <laughs> a collage page, if I can talk today. <laughs> so, I know we all probably have some of these. And if you don't, I'm going to put some in the shop. These are little packs of 15 of them. Um, so you can grab those if you want to, um, or I've made some little packs to go in the shop that are just, you have 15 of these pages in the pack, and then I've put you all kinds of little scrap papers and, um, little cutouts and things like that to put in, you know, to, to collage with. So, um, if you want to grab one of these packs, um, these are both in the shop. I know on the last video that I just did, I had told everybody that I would, um, do this video and show you what I meant by making, um, a ready-made journal page. So, um, or a collage journal page, however you want to look at it. So, um, we all get these in the ring binder journals, um, some of the ring binders, like the plant ones or whatever, and they're perfect to, you know, be just like an automatic, um, journal page, just to tuck it in and make it a journal page. But sometimes you think, uh, you know, I mean, this is beautiful, but that's, you know, kind of boring. And so, and so is that. So I thought, you know, we could do a quick collage on them. And, you know, this one's not gorgeous. I mean, it's okay, but, you know, I don't have to have that on, um, you know, in my journal page. I might not want that as a, a page in my journal. So I just thought what I would do is take one and show you what you can do to change it into a whole completely different journal page and make it super pretty. Um, also, I before I start doing this, um, I had said on the last video that I would show you the ephemera that I did from um, the jelly prints that I was working on with y'all on video. Um, so I was going to go through them on the last video, but see, you can make little tags, like there's several different kinds of little tags. And I think, you know, some you can do very simple and just make, um, you know, use your stamps on them. Um, you know, and you can make them whatever size you want them to be. Um, here's one of the little tiny Rolodex card ones. You know, something super cute. And so I thought maybe I might try to scan these in and put them in with um, the Jelly Plate Digitals that I had done. I mean, there's one of the bigger um, Rolodex cards. And these make a cute little pocket or a little tuck-in. Um you know, or you can make it an actual tag, put you a piece of ribbon at the top or whatever, and you can write on the back, or you can, you know, like I say, make it a pocket or a tuck. Um, I also took one of the pages, this is one of the lined pages, and I made a little sack out of it. So you have a cute little sack, and I just decorated the front of it, just very simply, but it's super cute. This would make a cute little floating pocket in your journal, or you can glue it down, you know, glue the back down and it just be, you know, a double pocket. Um, so that's another thing that you can do with them. Here is one of the guest checks that I did and I just take a polished napkin over it, put this little, it's not really a pocket, but it's like a tuck. And so I just stitched around it real pretty and inked around it. So you can use that to tuck something in there, maybe just like a little note card or even a picture and then you can write on the back. Um, this one is gonna be a tag, but I wanna um, scan it before I put the ribbon on because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm just gonna put my little ribbon on like that. So it'll be a cute little tag, but I didn't want this to be a hindrance in the, in the scan. So I'm just gonna do it like this and that way you can add whatever kind of ribbon you wanna add to it if you wanna cut it out and make a tag out of it. I'm also gonna do this envelope in there so I'm gonna scan this in so that you can have a pretty little envelope. This is from one of the jelly prints. And so this will all, it won't look like this when you print it out. I will fix it in face um, in Photoshop um, so that it prints out and it looks like a perfectly good envelope. <laughs> but super cute, just some simple stamping. Added a little bit of decoupage and a little word there. Vintage stamp there. And it's very cute. 
Um, here's another one of the little tags. So you can go, you, you know, you can add stuff on there. Um, I like to make mine kind of flat. Here's like a little banner. This was the catalog card that I did, and I kind of did too much paint on it, so you can't really even see any of the words that are on the catalog card, except for right down here in the corner, you can just barely see a little bit of a word down there. Um, but I put some lined paper on the back of it so that you can use it as a tag or a journal card. And then I did um, another one of the little Rolodex cards. Um, and I thought about maybe putting some lace or something, but I kind of like the simplicity of this. I think it's just super sweet, just as simple as it is. So anyways, this was just the sheet I used to stamp off on. Um, those are some of the, just some of the things that you can use um, your jelly plate prints for. You know, you can play with them and have fun with them. Um, this one was some of the embossed paper. Both of those were. Oh, and this one was too. I don't know if you can tell, but this was um, like a little quilt. You can see it better probably on the back. So anyways, those are a few of the things that you can do with your jelly prints just to give you some ideas of how you can play with them and use them in your journals. So I'm probably going to scan all of these and add them to the, um, the digital um, because what I did was I just scanned a bunch of the jelly prints put them in there as backgrounds. And um, so I'll add this as a page of uh, ephemera to go along with that so that you can get those. So anyways, didn't mean to take up so much time. I just wanted to make sure that um, I had told everybody that I would show them to you on the last video. So that's those. All right, so let's get started playing and having fun with these. Now this is super pretty. And what I would do um, is if, this was the page that I was going to use. I might would cover up the words and stuff and just leave the picture of the flower. But inside, I would collage over all of that. I might would even leave that because that's gorgeous and that's one of my favorite flowers. So, um, but I think what we're going to do is do this one. So I'm just going to kind of lay it out flat. Do I want to lay it out flat? Yeah, I'm going to kind of lay it out flat. And since I don't really want this picture to show, I'm just going to collage over it. Now, you can take anything you want to to collage with. Um, I've got, and this is an old Sears magazine page, some dictionary page. Um, I've got some scraps here that my sweet friend sent to me. So I thought I'd pull these out and play with them. Um, some really pretty, pretty scraps. So I'm excited to get to play with these. Um, and I love the textures of these papers. So we can play with that. And then I printed out, um, this is Japanese calligraphy paper. I thought it was rice paper because that's what it said. But then when I got it, it said it was Japanese calligraphy paper. And it feels so awesome. It has a different texture on this side than it does on this side. This side does feel like rice paper. So it may be, let's see how well it rips. Ooh, the rip's kind of good. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> this is one of the jelly print backgrounds that I've put in the shop. This is um, on the Braille paper. Um, so that's what I, and then this is one of my kits. I just printed a few pages off of one of my kits. I think this is the Cottage Chic kit, and this is one of the collage kits. So those are on the, um, calligraphy paper and then these I had bought some vellum and it was super 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 thin and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it so I thought we could play with it let me see if this will rip oh yeah it rips good okay let's just have fun with it so I printed some of um, some of my um, collage uh, digitals and this is the cottage chic on these and I thought we could use these for collage to play with on this page too. So I thought that would be super cool. Um, and I think I'm going to do some packs of these and put them in the shop as well. It might not be until next week because I haven't got to get to these yet. But um, if those, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get them in the shop. Okay, so and don't forget I'm doing the extravaganza this weekend. 25% um, off of all the booth journals for the whole weekend, and then all those 
wonderful little goodie packs that I showed you in the last video. All right, let's get started and have some fun. Now, if I want somewhere to write, I'm going to need something to put here so that I can have some lines or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some lined paper. And I think maybe we can put some lined paper here. So I have this sweet little notebook my friend Maria sent me. And so I love the shape of the pages of this. So I think what we're going to do is just put this down here. And let me grab my glue stick. And I have my glue book somewhere. Hang on. Okay, here we go. All right. So I am just going to... Hmm, my glue book not might not be big enough so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna tear a couple of them out and we are going to put them side by side and then we're gonna flip him over and just glue him down now you can use Mod Podge um, or wet glue I wouldn't suggest using wet glue because it would you know you probably would be able to see it through it but I would say Mod Podge or glue stick. To me, the glue stick is going to do the best because, you know, you can stick it right to the page. So let me get some glue on here. We'll just go ahead. I want to make sure I can kind of get as much of that green as possible. And then I'm just going to take my little card here. Let me get a different one. That one's trying to break. I wear my little cards out. Okay. There we go. So now we've got our lined paper down, and then we can collage around it and then collage. Um, you know, I don't have to have lined paper everywhere. So I just want to have some fun and do some collage. So we're just going to start preparing. I love these Sears Roebuck pages. I'm not sure I really want the TVs in there, but we'll see. So I'm just going to tear a few of these up. Um, and let's do, let's do a dictionary one. And what I want to do, I like to tear my pieces and kind of sit them up top. Um, let me put the top on this glue real quick before I start putting on my Mod Podge because that way then I have everything ready and I don't have to worry about my Mod Podge drying while I'm trying to rip papers. So, and I'm just going to make me some little stacks up here so that I kind of know what I have. Let's see, you know what? We can use some of this too since we already tore it out of the book. Why not? Now you just want to make sure that, you know, you don't have any that shows any bad words or whatever, but... <laughs> okay, so let's take some of this Japanese calligraphy paper. And let's just rip it up too. I'm going to rip off the extra pieces that it didn't print on. Y'all, I cleared off my desk. And it is wonderful to be able to have room to work. I had gotten to the point where my desk was so junky uh, that I didn't even want to work in here. And that's no bueno. So I remedied that real quick like and cleared off my desk. Okay, so there's that one. Oops, didn't mean to tear it like that, but it don't really matter. All right, so let's go down. I don't really like the straight edges, um, but it doesn't matter if you have some straight edges because you can usually cover them up with another jagged edge. Now, if you want to, you can go through and ink up the edges of all of this. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. But you can if you want to. All right, let's use some of this one. This is the calligraphy paper, too. So let's just go ahead. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to tear, you know, whole pieces up because I don't think we'll need them. Oh, goodness. Well, I ain't even going to tear this one because he don't want to cooperate. <laughs> If I would hold it right, it would cooperate, but it's just giving me a hard time. There we go. Good grief. Let's make things difficult. Okay. There's that one. 
All right, now we've got, I think, enough of the rice paper for now. And I've got my little stack right here. You know, if I need to go back to some of the torn pages, I can. So, we have rice paper now. Let's try some of this vellum, because I'm excited about using this vellum. I think it's going to be really neat looking. Okay, so we have this one. This is one of my collage prints, and I love the purples. So, let's just go this way with it. I'm going to tear this edge off that didn't print and maybe go right down the center of those postal marks. There we go. I think that's enough of that one for now. And then let's pick another one. We already have this one in the, um, the calligraphy paper. Um, let's try this one with the birds. Or maybe the one with the roses. Mm. I don't know. I might have to do some of each of these. We'll see. But for now, we'll just do this one. Okay, so I'm just going to tear half of him. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to leave those edges because I can cover them up. And that way it's not taking forever. Okay. Alright, so for now we've got some stuff chopped up. And then we have these. These are super cute. These are from, uh, these were gifted to me. So I'm just going to take some of these too because they don't always have to be ripped. I like them usually to have, you know, the ripping in them, but they don't have to be. Alright, so let's play and have fun. Let's see where we get with this. Okay, I might bring over my chair. Hang on. Okay, so I'm just going to sit and relax and get started. So I'm going to bring over my Mod Podge and my brush. And this is not actually Mod Podge. It's the same thing, but it's just watered down Elmer's glue. And I'm going to grab my brush out, get some of the water out of it so it's not so drippy because this one's not as thick as some of the pages that I work on. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to start over here, and I'm just going to apply some glue at the top of the page. And I'm not going to glue the whole page because I don't want it to, um, you know, I don't want it to dry too fast. And then we're just going to start throwing some stuff down. Now, I like the ones that have the edges, um, you know, like the straight edges. So I'll usually take those and put them in um, the corners. And then we can go here with this one. And then let's do, we need a different color than pink. Let's try, this one's real pretty. Let me see if I can get it pulled over here. Let's take a piece of this one. I like this. It's got the um, embossing. Okay. So we can put him on the edge right here. So we're just going to add... Some more glue over here. And we'll add some underneath there because I didn't put any under there for it to stick to. Okay, let's see. Let's do some book page. That I can't. Let's do some. Um, let's do some of the Sears Sears page because, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue there. But it's got the straight edge, so I like using those at the top here. And he goes all the way to the edge, to the to the crease in the page. And so, we'll just leave him there. Now, I left a little bit of the white peeking out, but that's okay. It doesn't all have to be covered. I just want something to be pretty. So, then we're going to put some of this. This is the calligraphy paper. So, let's put some of this down. Hmm, it don't cover real well. So, we're going to use base pages first. Like these, you know, like the little book pages and things like that. And I mean, it doesn't matter if it shows through. It, you know, it doesn't matter if you can see whatever's on the inside of it. Let's see. I'm going to take this and rip this edge. And rip this edge 
Y'all, I'm so excited. My niece is in the hospital having a C-section today. I'm going to have a new little baby nephew, great nephew. So my sister just texted me before I got on video and said, he's here. So we're excited to have a new member of the family. Just praying that nobody gets any kind of virus or gets exposed to anything they don't need to be exposed to, right? All right, let's take some of this vellum. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm just excited about using this vellum, man. I just want to see what it's going to look like on top of this. Oh, that's cool looking. Just adds just a little splash of color there. All right, let's see what else do we have. I don't have a whole lot of different papers because you don't have to have a whole lot of different papers. Um, but you know, if you want some lined paper down here, you could do that and just leave the top collaged. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep going with it and see where we get. We can put him here. So we need a little more glue. Sorry if you can hear my TV. My husband's watching something on TV. He got lucky and got off early today. Well, I say he got lucky. Where <sighs> he's kind of um, he got laid off for a day of the week. So due to all of this coronavirus stuff going on. Okay, I'm gonna go over the edge of this a little bit, but that's okay because we can trim it down once once we dry it. Or once it dries okay let's see let's do some more Ooh, let's do a piece of this and see how it does right here in the middle this is one of the um, whoops I'm getting stuff mixed in this is one of the Japanese calligraphy pages with the um, jelly print printed on it I like that Okay, all right, let's see what else we've got over here. We have some different color papers over here. Ooh, let's try some green. I like the green. Okay, we're gonna put him in the corner right here. I need a little more glue. Sorry, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And I should have something underneath this, but I can just wash my mat, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. All right, and we need another little piece of something right in here. Let's go ahead and tear the edges off of this one. You're okay, babe. All right. You okay? All right, let's see trying to get this ripped so that we can not have any straight edges there we go and we'll put him sideways right here and then we just need one more piece down here at the bottom and I think I want to do this because it's kind of got a straight edge so let's just do this one on there Now, I have to be careful because I printed these on my printer, and I don't have a laser jet printer, so this is just inkjet, and so sometimes, if you're not careful, you'll smear the, the ink on it like I did this one up here, smeared just a little bit, but um, if you do it fast and you don't smear it a whole lot, most of the time you can get it to work for you. Okay, so now we have this page done, and so while this page is drying, I want to come over here and cover up some of these words on this page. And I was kind of sitting this down because it's kind of curling on me, but it'll quit curling once you, once it dries and um, once it dries and you get it straightened out, you know, you kind of move it around a little bit, it'll quit doing that. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of this dictionary paper. And I'm gonna try and try and tear it straight if that can be done. 
It doesn't have to be exactly straight, but I want to put some down here. Ooh, maybe we need some music paper too. Hang on, let me grab some music paper. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that because I found music paper, but I also found some really cool scraps in my scrap box. These are the um, sprayed pages that I did when I did all those spray pages. And yum, these will be fun to um, collage on here too. So, let's just... Um, I'm going to take this one off because I would rather have some of the sprayed paper over here. So let's see what we got. Because it just adds a little bit of extra color. I mean, look at that. That will be cool right there, won't it? Okay, let's see. Let's see how far we need to rip it. Y'all, I am so sleepy. It's not even funny. Okay, so I'm going to do a piece of this here because I don't want it to just all be that, you know, one page and I don't need it to be this big. So let's go this way with it. Okay, so we can put a piece here. I'm just going to put a line of glue right down here. So we can put a piece here. And what else do we want? We have some really, I like um, these little music symbols. So I'm just going to run a piece of this music paper right down here on the bottom, like this. Sorry about the sirens, if you can hear those. All right, and then we need one more little piece right here just to cover that up. So let's do, and I need a little bit of glue right here. There we go. And then, let's see, what did I have? Oh, I had a piece of this. Let's just do a, little, a small little piece of this. Just to add a little something different. There we go. And we'll just tape, or not tape it. We're not taping anything. We're gluing. We are gluing. Okay, and then we can take this up here. Let's go ahead and put in some glue up here on this top side. So we'll put us a piece of this here. And then let's put some of this right here. See how I smeared the ink? Because I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. Okay, and then we have some of this which is pretty so it's polka dotted on one side let's see I want a little bit of this but I don't think I need it that long so let's go let's just put this right here and then we'll just rip it right here there we go make sure we get that glued down okay now and you can do the same thing to the inside, but for this video, for, you know, the sake of video purposes, I'm just going to do one side of it, um, you know, but you'll want to do one side and then let it dry and then do the other side. Okay, so now what I want to do is, this just looks like a mess, but if we take some stickers and maybe some journal cards or something pretty to put down there, then we can kind of just mix them in and kind of decorate the page up. And make it super pretty so I'm gonna move these scraps out of the way for a minute and I'm gonna grab some die cuts and things to play with on our page hang on okay so I've grabbed some things we can play with and my paper sticking to the glue I should have put some wax paper underneath it word to the wise put some wax paper underneath it <laughs> so some things that we can use to kind of decorate up our page with these have been sitting in my drawer forever. Um, they're just little die cut pieces that I die cut out of scrap papers a long, long time ago. Um, this is a die cut that came in a pack that's been sitting in my drawer forever. These are some stickers, and these stickers just didn't quite turn out to be what I thought they were going to be, you know, and so they've just been sitting around forever. These are some die cuts that have been sitting around forever. Um, and then there's another sticker. And then we have some of these Tim Holtz pieces too. So I thought we could just play 
um, and place some things around and see where we get with it. So let's just have fun with it because that's the whole point of it is to have fun with it. You can sit and do this in front of your TV at night while you're watching TV with your honey and you know you can just add some goodies here and there. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue right here because we need something for this to not look so plain. So let's see what we can find to put over here. Let's find something cute. All right, so this is like a little flower. So we can put him here, and you can even write in that one if you want to. And let's see, let's find one of these cute little die cuts and see. That little heart's kind of cute. Let's try that on there. Maybe put that right there. And that just kind of decorates it up a little bit, you know. Let's see. I don't even know what these are. I haven't seen these in that long. <laughs> okay, and so then we can put one of these little flowers down here. And again, you can ink the edges if you want to. I just don't want to. So I ain't going to. <laughs> Alright, so we can put him right there. Okay, and you don't have to have a whole lot on this side, you know, because you've got your lines paper that you're going to write with. And I like the... Um, I don't mind the crinkles in my pages. If you don't like the crinkles in your pages, you know, then just go a little slower with your gluing and stuff, but it doesn't bother me a bit. So let's see what these stickers are. So let's start over here and see what we can find. And these are just like numbers, and I'm like, I don't care about these numbers, uh, but I do like to see numbers on a page, so why don't we see if we can get these stickers off um, with the back off and use them. Okay, so we can just stick him right here, and I don't want him straight, so he can just go there. I have this little mushroom. Let's see if we can get this. Y'all, please excuse my hands. Okay, I have been inking and dying, and my hands are discolored. <laughs> they look like, it looks like my hands are dirty, but they're not. I promise you I've washed them. <laughs> All right, so where do we want to put this little mushroom sticker? Let's put him down here. I think he'd be cute here. We're going to put him sideways. All right. So let's see what else. So we got some stickers. This one says Tuesday. Why don't I put that on there? I don't really ever use stickers that are like days of the week in my journals, but it's kind of cute to have it, you know, just stuck in here like this. Cute little house sticker. Or These are not stickers. These are just die cuts. Let's see. That'd be cute to put on there. Let's just go ahead and add it. And this is just kind of a way, too, to just use up your stash. I probably should have not covered up that price tag. Some of y'all are probably yelling at me, no, no, that's nostalgic. I'm sorry. I didn't see it before I thought about it. I'm going to put this die cut here. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, that would have been cute for Easter. But that's over. Okay, there's some little pears. I'm not really into the pears. Oh, that's a cute little teacup, though. Cute little frames. The little teacup's adorable. Let's see. Let's put him down here. Right here in the corner, because he's teeny tiny. Okay. And then, let's see. What else do we have? Ooh, pretty little butterfly. That would be pretty somewhere. And I just like putting stuff all over the page. Let's put the butterfly down here in this corner. I like putting stuff all over the page because it just kind of decorates the page up. And you just have to kind of ignore the stuff that's in the background. You don't want to see that because that always tends to make me think, oh God, I can't cover that up. That's pretty. But you know what? You can cover it up and it's okay. And this just kind of adds a little bit more dimension to your page. Let's see. There was something I wanted to put on here now. Oh, here we go. Hey, we might even want a Tim Holtz dude. You know, one of these little people things. Let's put him right here. We'll just make us a, a very different little collage today. And then we need something right here. So let's try one of these flowers. I don't know. This might be too big. It might overwhelm the page. Do y'all think that overwhelms the page? Maybe. Let's try the butterfly. Nope. Let's try this piece. 
I like this. It's the International Postal Slogan Society. Okay. We'll go for that. Let's put that one on there. All right. And so, you know, you can put as much or as little of items on here as you want to. Now, this one, this little die cut's a little bit thicker because it was one of those glittery ones. And they're always thicker than the other ones. And then, I kind of like this to kind of sit right here. Nope. Maybe right there. And then that still gives you plenty of room to do your journaling. I made a mess out of this little piece, but that's okay. Okay. Put that there. Alright, now I'm going to dry it and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's semi-dry, and so I'm just going to trim this off of this edge real quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I cut into that a little bit too much, didn't I? But it's okay. All right. So now... I just want to make sure all my edges are sticking down so that things aren't coming up. Okay, see like this piece here, it's coming up a little. So I'm just going to take a little bit of, I might just take a little bit of this uh, this wet glue here. It's Aline's. It's, it used to be Art Glitter Glue and now it's Aline's. So I have links to both of those in the description box below if you want some of these. So I'm just going to take my glue and glue down any edges that are coming up. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to kind of make this a co cohesive page. And what I mean by that is I want some kind of a repeating pattern throughout the page so it looks like it actually goes together and it's not just a hod hodgepodge of stuff on here. So um, I grabbed my stamp box and I have some cool little stamps here. There's one that I'm looking for in particular. Hang on a second. Okay, so I found a couple of stamps. I kind of wanted something that was just going to be, um, it was just going to kind of look like it was in the background. And so I don't know if you can see that or not, but you'll be able to see it. And I don't have a stamp block in here. So we're just going to, we're just going to do some random stamping with this little stamp here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of ink. Now, I have not used this stamp before, so if I ever have a case like that, I'll usually just grab myself a little piece of scrap paper and stamp off with it first to see what it's going to do, and I like it. So now, I'm going to put this piece up under here, I'm going to get some more ink. And we're just going to random stamp. Just do some random stamping around the page just to kind of make it look like it all goes together. Let's do some right there, maybe some over here, some up here. All right, now I'm done with that one. Now these are smaller ones, so we're going to use, make sure I'm stamping the right way. We're going to use our little top for it and just stamp away. Whoops. Well, <laughs> y'all, that didn't work too good because now I've lost my stamp. Okay, I have lost my mind is what I've done. There it is. <laughs> okay, everybody can laugh and talk about how stupid I am because that was comical. Okay, I'm not going to try and use that again because that didn't work very well for me, did it? <laughs> And I still stamp the dang dang thing upside down. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're going to stamp some here. I'm just going to keep stamping off until I don't have any more ink on my stamp. Okay, let's try this one. It might help if we stamp it on the right side. Or ink it on the right side, I mean. All right, these are kind of newer stamps, so I don't um, really know their stickiness yet. I guess I'm learning. All right, let's put some up here. Some right there. 
All right. Maybe a little bit right here. And it's okay if you stamp on the stickers. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of something where you kind of want to join, you know, everything together. And then here's the last one. I think it's like a ticket or a coupon or something. I got glue all over my fingers. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Where do we want? We might have enough. Well, I think we do. Let's just stamp him off right here and be done with it. That one's kind of a new stamp too. And then let's go up here and stamp it off on this corner corner edge here. There. And we'll stamp the rest of it off on this piece of paper. I should have got myself a stamp block, shouldn't I? <laughs> I got glue sticking up off my fingers everywhere. Okay. Alright. This might have been a cluster of a video, but we had fun. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Now, you have yourself a cute little journal page. I mean, if you turn to this journal page, wouldn't that make a great photo, like a photo background, or, you know, you can make a pocket here and put something in the pocket, but it's a cute little background. So anyways, that is something that you can, this is what it looked like before, or similar to it, and now you have something super cute. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you will, and hit that notification bell. Run over and grab the digitals and the um, uh, the jelly plate digitals and grab your favorite packs and y'all have fun for the weekend. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Big hugs.